Hi everybody, welcome to Tips and Bricks. Before we start today's video, please take the time to hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's get into it. Today I'm going to be reviewing this set, set number 75300, Imperial TIE Fighter, with 432 pieces and it retails for $40. It's an awesome set and I'm so excited to do a review on it with you guys. And um, this is what we get on the front, it shows these three guys here. TIE Fighter Pilot, NIL-8, and Stormtrooper. Um, it's pretty cool. I like the box design, how they show those explosions in the background. Um, you know, it is an action. They have, um, it's not just the ship, but, you know, they put it in, like, make it look like it's in space. That's pretty cool. On the side here, we get this, nothing new. And on the back, it kind of shows it opened up and in one of the, um, uh, like, the Death Star or something. Um... Here, two pieces to open. I've already opened it up, but and on this side we get another thing of it flying through space. Actually, it might be the same picture on the front. Yeah, it is. They just made a smaller one. But that's pretty much it for the box. Okay, I'm going to build this and then review it. The first minifigure we get in this set, of course, is the TIE Fighter Pilot. And it's, he's in this classic Stormtrooper black suit, uh, like all the TIE Fighter pilots have. And um, he has this printing on the front there, and no printing on the legs. But he has that helmet with those gray kind of streaks going down from the eyes. It's actually a really cool suit. And it's always good to add these to a, a Star Wars collection, especially for a LEGO Star Wars fan. Because these are just really helpful to have. And, um, you know, the more TIE Fighters you have, the more of an Imperial fleet you could have. So, this is pretty cool. There's one small problem, is, and that's that you can see his head from the back. So it looks a little bit odd, but when he's in the TIE Fighter, you can't see the back, and um, you can't really, it's kind of hard to see him anyway. So I think it's actually really cool. For the face, we get this this kind of face that showed up in the Mandalorian Razor Quest, the same one that I said looked like Batman, if you watched that video. Um, it's actually, um, I think it's a new one that they're going to be using a lot for Stormtroopers. I've noticed that, um, I've seen these too much before, but they're really starting to use them now, so... It's really good to start to add these new kind of faces to, to my collection because um, the better, uh, the, the newer faces, you know, all the guys are going to be the same because they're going to start making more of those now. That's it for this minifigure. Um, let's move on to the next one. The next minifigure we get is the classic Stormtrooper. Not a Scout Trooper or anything, just this classic Stormtrooper. And I'm glad that they included him. Some people would say that he's too plain or whatever, but I'm really glad that they put him in here because they could have just on the TIE Fighter pilot, but they put this guy in this set too. He has that kind of um, Stormtrooper body there. I've noticed he has two different kinds of printing on his legs. He has that one that kind of goes up, and that one that kind of goes across on his knees. He has this a little bit of a longer blaster than the TIE Fighter pilot, which makes sense because he's going to be doing more combat on the ground. And on the back, you actually can't see his um, the back of his head like you could for the TIE Fighter pilot. He actually has a different head then the TIE Fighter Pilot, he has that kind of head there. Um, also, it's good to get that one too. And it's cool how they're doing a lot of different kinds of faces for Stormtroopers and stuff now, because I remember a long time ago when they made the Star Wars sets, all of the Stormtroopers and Clone Troopers and even some of the Boba Fett characters, they all have the exact same face. And even though you're mostly going to be seeing them with the helmet on, it's nice to get different prints for that. That's pretty much it for this simple guy, but it's, and it's, it's just nice to get him in this set. The final minifigure we get in this set is a robot. Um, he's kind of like C-3PO, but he's the dark version. And he has those kind of big eyes. And I noticed something really funny about this guy. His name is NI-L8. And it sounds like a normal Star Wars name at first, but or Star Wars droid name at first. But then once you say it fast, N-I-L-8, Annihilate, it sounds like you're actually saying Annihilate, which is funny because he's from the dark side and it's i just don't know why it, um if that's from their movies or if they added that in for this because i don't remember hearing his name in the movies but um uh it's just it's just hilarious because i didn't think that they had actually uh, like take something and make it just sound like that. i don't even know if it's purposeful but it's funny because nila it's like annihilate um he has that cool head where you no stud on the top you can't place something else on there and that kind of printed body droid body with those cords and stuff on his um, chest there and um yeah it's kind of hard to see his face but once once you really look close under a big light you can kind of see it um that's pretty much it for this minifigure 
And now we're on to the build of the set. We get this TIE Fighter. It's an awesome build. Um, they use some new techniques because they've made many TIE Fighters before. Um, from a front view, it looks like this, kind of like a normal TIE Fighter. The side, the wings are the, are the um, two wings on either side are the exact same. So you get that on either side. And then right here from the back, looks like that. There's those two lights, which is pretty cool. It's kind of like a car. Um, you know, turn on your headlights so that the other TIE Fighters don't crash into you. Um, I don't, I haven't actually seen that in the movie where there's two lights, but they added it in on this, so that's pretty cool. And on the top, we get that kind of printed, um, round piece there, and it moves easily, so sometimes when you're carrying it, it'll slide, and so you gotta kind of line it back up again like that. But once you have it lined up, it'll stay pretty easily. Um, of course, you have your TIE Fighter pilot here, um... You can take off his gun. He can't have a gun in the tie in the tie fighter, which would would have been kind of nice, because you know we could have gotten um, fit everything in there. But you had to take off his gun. You can have the droid hold it or something. This goes down like that, and this comes open. And you can kind of see that cockpit in there. There's some more lights up there and there, and then there are these two buttons there and there for the control, I guess. You just take your tie fighter pilot and you make him sit down, put his arms like that. And he just plops right in like that. Everything in this cockpit is kind of black, so it's hard to see sometimes. But once you really um, get it, it looks good. So there he is. There's the TIE Fighter pilot in his little cockpit, getting ready to take down some X-Wings. Um, it looks pretty cool. Um, some, uh, It's pretty simple. It's There's nothing new, like no, no like um, um, new prints or anything in there. But it closes really nicely over him. It doesn't get caught or anything. And boom, there it is. You can actually see him a little bit through there. If you look in there, you can see that that um, him just sitting in there getting ready. Um, that's it for that. And I'm going to show you guys what the coolest feature um, about this is. I did just say coolest feature, but, you know, it's all my opinion. Um, I think that there's a lot of cool features with this. But if you look on the front here, we get these little launchers there and there. And you can plug in the bullets no new pieces or anything but we do get three of these instead of two which is really nice because it's always good to have an extra because you'll always lose these things they'll just bounce off hit a wall and be gone forever so you gotta be careful with that i don't usually shoot them especially when i'm kind of carrying this around i want to keep these out because i don't want to actually accidentally bump one and make it go flying into the distance um to shoot it you just push down on the back like that on there and it shoots out and usually it'll go a lot farther but I'd rather um, keep these today so yeah we get three of these there isn't like a spot to have them on the side like the Mandalorian Razor Quest had but again that set was a lot bigger than this one um, but it's it's just such a cool set and um, you can if you look at the wings here they're connected with um, these kind of Technic pins and it's really good because if you're flying around with it you can pop it off and it looks like it gets shot and spins out and crashes into the ground so it's pretty cool and especially actually when you're gonna store this if you want to keep it somewhere kind of compact and not in a big area like for display you can just pop these off and what you can do is just put it in like that and it's really really easy to keep stored so that's one of the coolest thing about this set is that you can kind of keep it all together like that. And again, this moved on the top it does that sometimes, but this is just such a cool set. I would recommend getting it. And for the price of $40, I would say that it's worth it. Um, it has more than 400 pieces. Some $40 sets of 400. This one has like 430 something. I'm not really sure. Um, I think I mentioned it earlier in the video, but um, yeah, here's the uh, end view of it on um, the bottom. It's pretty simple. That's it for this TIE Fighter. Um, it's a pretty awesome set and I'm glad that I bought it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it for you. This is an awesome set and I mean I would recommend getting it because it's you know pretty cool and um, if you have a big Star Wars collection you can really add it on and they've made many many Lego TIE Fighters. This one has some really cool things that they haven't done before and I like that they put that those in. Um, and you know every single set is something new. There's a little thing and before we go I'm going to quickly show you something that I found in this set That's the first thing I've ever found in my entire life in a Lego set. I found a mistake 
in the instructions. Okay, you know, I, that's right. I just said that. A mistake in the Lego instructions. Many people probably don't believe me, but I'm going to show you right here. Here it is. So if you look on these steps, this is when you're building the cockpit. If you look right here, you can see how it's building that. The pieces, two of those, right there and there. And then you look over here, and it says there and there. Two of those, there, there, and one of those, two of those there and there. Now there is a mistake right here. I want to see if you can spot it before I can. If you look at these two, what piece is added on that isn't supposed to be there? There's a one by four dark gray piece right there, that little plate. And you're supposed to add it on on the next step, but they put it on early. And I know this because I looked back, it's not there. And they didn't move it at all. That, that piece is still there. They didn't move it, but it's just crazy. Look at that, they added on this piece here before it was supposed to get on. This is crazy, it's the first mistake I've ever seen in a Lego instructions. If you've seen any, seen any I'd, I'd love to hear about it in one of your videos. So um, that's pretty much the mistake I found. It's pretty crazy. Here's the instruction packet, oh, by the way, it's pretty cool. Um, nothing you know new with it, but in the back we do get an ad for Skywalker Saga, again right here. Seems pretty exciting. Um, and that's pretty much it for the packet, but that's the mistake that I found. Okay, that brings us to an end for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it for you. But before you go, please hit the subscribe and like button because I love your guys' support. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.